calculating route. Turn right, now. Well done dumbass. What's up gamers? Today we're headed back to the mud and snow in the Freightliner M916A1. The Freightliner is a six-wheeled, off-roading, ex-military truck that feels right at home in SnowRunner on paper. Featuring permanent all-wheel drive and engageable diff lock, it's well equipped to handle most terrain. Unfortunately, some other features leave much to be desired. The licensed in-game model is based on the 1978 Freightliner M916A1 light equipment transporter. This 13-ton truck was a specialised military commission as part of the M915 series out of a need for an off-road capable semi-trailer unit capable of towing at least 40 ton loads. The M916 saw the addition of a rear-mounted hydraulic winch and stock 6x6 layout over the 915, but was equipped with the same power plant, a 14-litre Cummins NTC400 turbo diesel engine, delivering 400 horsepower and 1600 Nm of torque. The culmination of all of this engineering has resulted in a military service vehicle that saw little change until its upgrade to the A2 in the 1990s. The Freightliner has most of the expected mechanical upgrades like raised suspension and snorkels, but does feature a few standouts. From stock, this machine is already equipped with a specialty off-road gearbox allowing for three low-range gears in difficult terrain. When combined with its permanent all-wheel drive and diff lock, this machine is basically equipped for anything from day one. On top of that, the engine can be upgraded to the 2700T, which is seen in most of the heavy trucks taking its power to weight ratio from an A at stock to an S, giving this already impressive machine some extra muscle to go with its off-road expertise. Unfortunately, it is let down by the tyres, being limited to off-road tyres rather than having access to mud tyres like the Paystar. So while it does very well on all terrains, it can still find itself bogged in swamps. But the most disappointing feature is the frame add-ons, and it's not just the lack of selection. The M916 has a permanent hydraulic winch mounted behind the cab that is completely unusable nor replaceable. Now it is a part of the real world truck so kudos to them on that detail. However, to my thinking that's a huge missed opportunity for a unique crane add-on to utilise that spot like we have for the Lodestar. Instead, we have to choose between adding a small crane behind this unusable winch in an odd centre set position, which also adds a lot of top heavy weight to an already high centred rig. Or you can choose one of the two semi-trailer saddles. Well, I don't know about you, but for a cover art truck I was expecting a little more to be on offer here. It does have a moderate number of cosmetics however, featuring few exhaust, roof and front bumper options that suit the older industrial style of the truck. On a disappointing note is the custom sun visor, only coming in the default green colour. Now this may be a bug, but with some other trucks featuring similar one colour sun visors, it basically says deal with it or don't use it. The paint jobs are here as well. But I was expecting even a DLC military skin for this truck as an homage to its service record. But regardless, all cosmetic elements taken into account, this truck looks great in game. And it is sure to delight fans of the real world truck. Now to the part that I'm sure everyone who's actually driven this truck in game has been waiting for, the handling. To sum it up in two words, it's bad. To expand on that, this truck seems to suffer from a combination of understeer and oversteer simultaneously. It either doesn't turn at all, or you're attempting to be the next Randy Peters. <laughs> this turning issue is heavily compounded by the fact this truck has a surprising top speed for something in the off-road class. It absolutely flies on the icy roads of Alaska and in the back roads of Michigan. But we all know how speed with no turning ends up. Overall, the Freightliner M916A1 is a great off-roading truck on paper, true to the original inspiration, but 
It's completely mothballed by the confused handling dynamic, rendering this thing in a ditch or on its side more time than it's spent on the road. So if you enjoyed this look at the poor handling of the M916, or just want to see more SnowRunner content, please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you all in Alaska soon.